Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a book review video and I have five books to get through. And these were actually good books this month. So, here we go. So the first one I got this at Walmart. It's The Christmas Cradle by Charlotte Hub Hubbard. I think that's how you say her last name, I'm not sure. This is what it looks like. And that book is about these two Amish couples. One is an older Amish couple that's having a baby. And the other Amish couple is a young couple who's, who they're not married, but they're pregnant also. And they start to, the older couple lets the, this young couple live with them until they can get um, their own house and stuff like that. So that's basically what that book's about. And it's basically about the young Amish girl who's pregnant has to say, oh, like, is this man that she's not married to or whatever going to be there for her or not because they're not married? And they don't really like each other that much, like, in the beginning. But towards the end, they like each other. But, um, yeah, so that book is really cute. It's about... It's not, it doesn't have, like, Christmas until, like, the very last couple chapters in it. So, it's not really, like, a Christmas, Christmas book. But, yeah. I mean, it has, it's, like, Christmas. Like, it's around that time. So, this is a mystery book. And this is called The Cat Who Sang For The Birds. And this is by Lillian Jackson Braun Brand. I don't know how they say her last name. But this it had, I think it had like 15 chapters in it, and it had 242 pages in it, and this is what it looks like. I mean, this is like how much it was, it's not that thick, thick of a book. And that book was about, I don't really know where the bird part came in, unless like, I just completely missed it. But yeah, it was really... It was, like, these, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. these books are about a small town guy who is, like, a rich millionaire, billionaire guy. And he has, um, these two cats that help him solve mysteries and stuff like that. And this one was about, um, like, I think it was about, it was about, um, the art center. And some stuff's been happening at the art center. And that's, and then he solves it with his cat and stuff like that. It was really good. I got that one at a flea market book sale, library sale, something like that. So this book I got at Walmart, and it's The Lopsided Christmas Cake by Wanda E. Bronstetter and Jean Bronstetter. Jean Bronstetter, Bronstetter is her daughter-in-law. And this is what it looks like. It's a really small book, like this big. And this is what it looks like. It's about these two sisters, these two twin sisters. They inherit their grandparents' um, farmhouse and um, their store. And they have to move to Illinois. And when they get there, they enter this, um, like, baking competition to raise money for this family who... The competition was about raising money for the family who doesn't have... They don't have, Amish don't have health insurance, so they have to pay everything, like, full. So it was about that. So it was about raising money for this family who had this hospital bill and stuff like that. So the next thing is about, um, so yeah, so then, and then they both get two guys to like them, and that was their story about, and it was about Christmas, it was lopsided Christmas cake, because the one sister came out lopsided, and it was a disaster. It was really, it was a really funny book, to be honest. So this book, I got at a dollar store, a Dollar Tree, and this is called Santa Baby, and it's a four-in-one book, four different stories by four different authors. One is by Lisa Jackson, Elaine Kaufman, Kylie Adams, and Lisa Plum Plumley, I guess. And this is what it looks like. All the stories in this book were about 
were Christmas stories. And they were about, they were like little romance stories. And I liked, one of them I didn't like was Under the Mistletoe. I don't think I liked that one. But yeah, these ones, it was of like a four in one book. And it was really cute. All of the stories were really nice. And they weren't that long, like, some of them were like, 50 pages maybe and then one was like a hundred so the last book I have oh and that book was like a great stocking stuffer too so if you have people that like to read or whatever that book's only a dollar I got a dollar tree so this one is I got this at a book sale and this one is a biography and this is about Queen Elizabeth II it's called Elizabeth the Queen by Sally Ben Bedale Smith, I think that's how you say the author's name, but this is what it looks like. It's a really big book, so it's not going to take you like a day to get through, but this is what it looks like. It had, um, minus the index and stuff like that, let me see, it had like 25 chapters, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it had, no, it had 21 chapters, and it goes up to 539 pages without the bibliography index and source notes. And it has some, like, it, like there's two sections in the book where it has pictures in it. And the pictures are really good. And it goes up until her grandson, Prince William, gets married. So that's how, that's as far as it goes up to. So it's a really recent biography. It doesn't end, like in the 80s, like, I have, I have, I read another book about the Queen before, and it was only, like, it only went up to, like, the 90s, I think, so it really wasn't that recent, but this one is a good one, I did read, I had, uh, I did highlight some stuff in this book, it was a really good book, like, if you have, you like to read about the royals, or if you need something to read for, like, a book report or something, this is the book to read. Because it is one of the best books I've read about, like, a royal in general. So that was all of my books for the month of January. So please comment below and tell me your favorite books for the month. I mean, your favorite books for the month of December. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.